just to make ends meet. Good evening. Yes, uh, Jen and Keith, that is what we are seeing. Some seniors finding roommates to make ends meet, some coming out of retirement and going back to work as this affordable housing crisis wears on. Greg Trigg is the top chef and grill master at Conan's Barbecue in West Tampa. He's glad it's become a labor of love because retiring isn't a choice. I live on a fixed income as it is, you know, with Social Security and stuff, so, you know, I had to, you know, find some other source of income, and so I came back to, to, to cooking. The steep cost of living putting a squeeze on his paycheck. My income is just over $1,000, you know, so, so what I'm going to do about lights and all this kind of stuff like that, but it's rough for seniors. Well, it's really rough for seniors. He shares a two-bedroom apartment with his brother to make ends meet. A large portion of his salary helps share the cost of the family home to manage the soaring price of home insurance. It's just the latest chapter of Florida's housing crisis. It's good to do everything up front, especially that right now the insurance companies are going to increase the premiums. Veronica Flores is a lender with the Paramount Residential Mortgage Group, recommending home buyers get an insurance quote early in the process. A high premium could disqualify you from securing a loan. You don't want to be in the middle of the process and be surprised that the insurance might be $4,000 or $5,000. A conversation Greg Trigg is following closely, his sights still set on finding an affordable home. But with the current climate of the market, he's staying patient in the meantime. I wish I had my own place, but right now the situation doesn't allow it, but I'm thankful for what I got. Yeah, so, so many people saying they are finding a way to make it work and they are staying thankful, appreciative. But the lender we spoke to also says that it's important to watch out for those high monthly expenses like car payments because those factor into the amount of the loan that you could qualify for. She also says that there's several programs available that keep the goal of home buying within reach. Reporting live in Tampa tonight, Lenny Sue Paul 8 on your side.